Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. A super quick tutorial today. Um, I got a lot of questions on how these variables have to be called and uh, assigned and what's the difference between dollar expansion and dollar hash expansion. So uh, I thought I'll just make a super quick video and um, here we go. So what's the difference between set and let? Well basically if you're creating a variable and setting a string to it and assigning a string value to that variable, then you use set. For example, set year 2010, right? So this is a string value, so you're just gonna use set. But let's say you're creating a variable and you wanna assign an, an expression to it. For example, let um, today's date is equal is equal to date today so basically this is an expression that click needs to calculate and in that case you use you should use let so then click makes um, assigns a value to that variable by by calculating the expression or for example 7 divided by 2 is equal to today's date or whatever so in that case you use let. So basically set is used when you want to assign a string to a variable and let is used when you want to assign an expression to a variable. So I hope that's clear. Next we're going to look at when to use dollar and when to use, let's start from um, the first. So let's say we want to, we want to set decimal separator into a comma first. And that's we are going to use set for this because this is a string. Next, let's say let variable x is equal to 7 divided by 2. So now this is an expression. So we have used let. So now when do we use um, dollar and when do we use dollar hash for expanding this? So let's say we already have a variable here and that is assigned to 7 by 2. Now Let's say that you want to create a variable which says dollar expansion. When do you use dollar? And the dollar is used when you want to expand the value in the variable. So in this case, my variable is variable x. The value is 7 divided by 2, but the numerical separator is comma. So in this case, what's going to happen when I use just a dollar is um, I say, hey, this one is dollar variable x right so i'm just using a dollar sign here now this what this dollar sign does is it expands the variable x and the variable x is nothing but 7 by 2 and 7 by 2 um is 3.5 so but it's not 3.5 because this decimal separator is a comma so it's going to be 3 comma 5 right so what the dollar expansion basically does it's just expands the value in the variable but what does a hash so let's say hash dollar expansion so what does a hash dollar expansion do so in what the hash dollar expansion does it is it expands the numerical value inside the variable so in this case it's variable x this is a numerical value regardless of what the decimal separator is the hash always expands the numerical value. So in this case, regardless of whether the decimal separator is a comma or a slash or whatever the fuck, doesn't matter, it's gonna say uh, 3.5. So in, when you use a hash, it expands the numerical separator, uh, numerical value, and uh, the numerical value is always a decimal point. Now in our dollar expansion, when you use dollar, if there is no value inside this, it's just gonna return an empty string. But when you use hash, so now I'm gonna use hash variable x. Now in this case, if there is no numerical value, then you're gonna get a zero and you're not gonna get an empty string. So basically, Let's see how this plays out, right? So let's load it. Now we have assigned our variable to dollar expansion by just using dollar and hash dollar expansion using dollar and hash. Let's see how that looks. Now in this table, if you see dollar expansion, it just expands, 
it to 3 comma 5 because my numerical separator is comma so it just brings the value so the dollar expansion brings the value while dollar hash brings a numerical value which is always with a decimal point so that's 3.5 and in um, in case it wasn't uh, it couldn't get a value then it would be zero whereas in dollar expansion it would have um, a null string like an empty string so you set when you're you when you're calling a string or when you're setting a variable to a string use let when you're setting an expression to uh, a variable and when use dollar if you just want the value from the variable and use hash dollar if you want the numerical value from um, from the variable so super simple hope you guys liked it please leave a like we really appreciate it see you in the next one peace